Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a review of the Pulsar Super Glide. Not the Super Light, the Super Glide. A mouse that is made out of glass mouse feet. So, yeah, sort of clickbait, but it's still cool as fuck nonetheless. But, guys, this glide is limited. These are aluminosilicate tempered glass mouse feet with nano polishing. If there's any glass experts in the comments, I would love to hear your glass opinions. Um, this was sent out by Pulsar. I don't know if anybody's reviewed it yet. I doubt it. If so, it was probably more of like a boring review to their previous iteration. I'm still like not a fan of the mouse. To me, it's just a met ergo. Even though it has kill 8.0s, they don't feel that good. The clicks are super high. I'm like RJN pilled lighter clicks are so much better uh but regardless of that the mouse skates these are something that nothing compares to and i'm not just saying that i'll prove it to you listen to these glass mouse feet it's a sound of excellence and then ppfe sickening stuff Pulsar does claim that these are the fastest mouse skates, and I have to give it to them on that. Uh, these are clearly designed for hard pads, whether it be a plastic pad, maybe glass, I haven't tried it on the sky pad yet. These are fucking fast, as you can see. Uh, also, since they're made of glass, I think the durability is going to be extremely good. There's people who are like, oh, does it break when I rage? First off, maybe don't fucking slam your mouse, or maybe get like a cheap wireless mouse to slam, and second off absolutely fine and this probably isn't even worth recording in the video but just look at this tiktok comment but the problem is over time it wears down and the particles get in the air and you breathe it in which can cause asthma and other breathing issues um so if you don't want that to happen maybe avoid the mouse but holy shit if you're not on tiktok th consider yourself lucky but the videos of me just fucking going like this with the mouse they go crazy on tiktok i'm not gonna waste this video doing that though youtube's an intellectual platform these are large skates, and as we know, the more surface area, the smoother the mouse feet are. Um, but then we just replace PTFE, where it's like, if you have a ton of surface area, there's going to be higher static friction, or just higher friction in general, with a super fast, low friction material the alumino silicate and then you just get a fast and smooth glide the edges are also rounded on the skates as well these are well designed mouse feet it's a shame that you can't buy them separately and you have to put up with the x light shape they're also making an x light wireless it seems like they're really sticking to this mouse um i don't know i just don't really enjoy it the side buttons feel very cheap as well um they should definitely use like full switch like real switches for side buttons imo i do have some build quality issues but i feel like i lost the ability to complain about those when i just fucking throw it around like that but one thing that's super weird is i can just barely press on this bottom it's like the support beam, I guess, and it activates the side button, mouse 4. And it doesn't affect me in-game, but I've just always thought that this bottom shell design is stupid, especially when these mouse skates weigh like 5 grams each. Like, what are you saving? Um, in my original video about the X-Lay, I complained about the weight balancing, and it's not much better on this. This mouse is 62 grams, so it is a bit heavier, um, but as you can see, it is still front heavy. But you're not really, I, I gotta say, you're not really buying this for an excellent ergo mouse maybe you are um honestly i just got a review unit and i find these mouse feet to be cool who am i to impose i am an unbiased review source but basically everything you've seen until this point has been on a plastic mouse pad the x-ray pad thunder um but once i use a cloth mouse pad this is the x10 control you see it just looks a lot more average like honestly can you tell that this is using a different material than the super glide probably not um, and it does have I don't know if I've used the word floaty in this video yet but that's really the only word I can think of to describe the way the glide feels you don't pick up the feeling of the texture in the same way that PTFE mouse skates do and there's nothing wrong with the performance of these skates on cloth or just more controlled pads and they're honestly better than ceramic feet um, but you just don't get the same extreme speed that you get on even your desk um, or just any plastic mouse mouse pad and I honestly kind of want to chop the cable off so I can spin it this is no disc to pulsar they made a perfectly fine mouse it's just I think it's better for research purposes than gaming purposes 
Okay, before I do that, I should probably talk about the cable. Um, this kind of falls into the good, not great category in a bungee. Um, it's passable, but I... I wish it was wireless. I feel like that's just the case with every wired mouse. But I've noticed there's no correlation between an increase in price on a wired mouse and an increase in the cable quality. Um, but yeah, it's nothing like horrible. But now, gonna cut the cable, make the mouse wireless. Fuck. Come on, cut. Okay, awesome. And now, fuck, what if it's just like terrible at spinning? That would be a shame. Well, I guess I have my old X light. Wow. What did I get last time? Like 50? This was just an absolute waste. A waste of a mouse. That's a shame. Feeling really disillusioned right now, so if you could leave me a YouTube like, that would really help me feel better. Um, so I guess the large amount of surface area actually does fuck it over in terms of spinning. So you learn something every day. I'm sure a large amount of people have clicked off by now because I am using a disconnected mouse on a plastic mouse pad. This is like impossible to control. I tried it. I gave it a few days, um, but I just never really felt like it was worth the change. And just stopping and clicking is so much harder when there's basically no friction at all. It feels like an air hockey tape on a plastic mouse pad and just it feels like a floaty non-textured version of PTFE on cloth mouse pads. That's really all there is to say. I am so so utterly disappointed. I'm gonna re record a few TikToks now. Uh, make sure to leave a like and sub if you enjoyed. No seal of approval. Not worth $80 unless you just want to dick around and try something new. It is unique though. Um, so credit to them for that. Uh, peace.